and I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the... This is a... Uh, the audio is coming from a video by Mark Driss, uh, Driscoll, who he's talking of uh, hell and the book of life, as if he has full knowledge of what he's talking about. I think little does he know of the uh, customs of uh, Judaism, where there was a heavenly ledger containing the record of man's deeds and conduct throughout the year and, and this uh, this belief goes all the way back to ancient Mesopotamia but it's it's just examples of what modern day Christianity has done with uh, this concept of hell. Dead were judged by what was written in the books according to what they had done. You need to know this. God is so just that even when he judges people at the end, they are sentenced to hell with the punishment that fits the depth of sin in their life. Meaning, the punishment always fits the crime. The punishment always fits the crime. For some of you who don't know Jesus, you are going to hell. See, now, this, this guy believes in a hell where some people will, will burn for eternity. And if the punishment fits the crime, as he says, where will uh, good people go? that have committed no crimes of uh, theft or murder or uh, adultery, uh, you know, goes on and on. They just happen to believe differently than this man. If he says Christians are going to hell, what does he think about good people all over the world that have, that have ever existed? You know, the uh, uh, a heavenly record in which the names of the righteous are inscribed is in a Jewish tradition of the Book of Living. The exact expression appears only once in the Old Testament in Psalms. Heavenly ledgers are referred or alluded to in many other passages of the Old Testament. Jeremiah, Malachi, Job, Daniel. But it's also in the Apocrypha, Apocrypha and uh, Pseudepigrapha book of Jubilees and Enoch and Barak. It's in the New Testament in uh, Luke and Philippians and Revelation, Hebrews. And the New Testament inscription of the book of life comes to mean eternal salvation. Concept can be traced back to Mesopotamia, as I said, where it was believed that the gods possessed tablets which were recorded the deeds and destinies of men. One of these tablets is actually called the Tablet of Life. If you were erased from such a ledger, that was tantamount to death. And from what I understand, in that first century, there in, in Jerusalem, there were books of life kept that were read on certain Jewish uh, 
holiday. Rosh Hashanah. Uh, there were three separate ledgers open on the new year. One for the thoroughly wicked. who are immediately condemned to death, the second to the holy righteous, who were inscribed and sealed for life, and the third for, their in, for these intermediate or average people whose fate was held in suspense until the Day of Atonement. The Talmudic idea has reinforced the underlying message of the annual 10 day of penitence and of the high holidays. Christians today have a totally different idea of this book of life and hell. And It is what most Christians believe. You are right now going to hell. And if you've lived a decent life, hell will be terrible. And depending upon what you've done, it may be worse for some of you than others. So you say, I... I can't believe I'm hearing this. We're in this tolerant age, and I went to college, and I, I know lots of isms, postmodernism, pluralism, and perspectivism, and what I would say is to hell with that. That is the issue. You need to really consider the fact that there awaits you a final, conscious, eternal torment. You need to think about that. And you need to prepare for that day of judgment when you stand before Jesus. And I know, in this culture and in this day, I'm not supposed to say that. But I can't stand before Jesus and be condemned as a liar. Hell is real. Judgment is real. Sin is real. And we really need to consider that. My suggestion to you, instead of listening to people like Mark Driscoll, is to do your research study and use the logic here he says decent people go to hell to be tortured for eternity you gonna believe this man along with the majority of Christians are you gonna believe truth 